Okay, now we're going to get ahead and look at where we can actually enter a formula manually. And we're going to make this a little bit different. We have the same numbers, but instead of actual how much we sold, this is how much we actually have the budget to actually when we make widget 1, widget 2, and widget 3 per week 8, week 9, week 10. And we have our projected amounts up here. Like we're projecting that we should only have used $200 for week 8, $400 for week 9, and $150 for week 10 for each one of these individual widgets as far as how much it costs us to do. So what we want to do is we actually want to, this is our base amount and we're actually going to subtract the sum of these three from our base amount to give us whether we're over or under our actual budget. Okay, So we want to enter a formula manually. We want to enter the first formula here. So you have that cell highlighted. You go up to the formula bar. You always start with equal and you're always going to have open parenthesis to begin. Okay, So we want to take the sum away from this base amount. So we're looking at this cell here. Okay, So if I click on this cell, notice it gives me N6. And from N6 we're subtracting the sum of these three cells. So N6 minus, and you also have to open another parenthesis because we need to get the sum. And you're looking at K6 plus L6 plus M6. And now I have to close that parenthesis and notice that I have uh, I have still have another parenthesis open, so I have to put another closed parenthesis. And when we give this, it should actually give us where we, whether we were over or under our budget as far as widget 1, widget 2, and widget 3 for week 8. I hit enter, you notice that we're $80 over budget because it's giving us a negative 80 bucks. So we actually spent too much on one of these widgets. Let's say we spent a little bit less on widget one and look at the and look at the difference. Let's say we only spent uh, $70 on widget one for the week. We hit enter and notice how this changed. This is now an exact dead even, okay? Maybe we only spent $65 on widget one. Now we're $5 on the positive side. We can also formulate this and we can actually let's do conditional formatting on this really quick. Highlight cell rules, more rules, we should already be familiar with this. And let's say cell value greater than zero, anything greater than zero is uh, positive. And we'll format it and we'll go to, to just make it nice and green and bold it, click OK. Click OK, notice that now we have now have a positive number here. We can go back and set one more rule. Once again, more rules, and we're going to do less than. Anything less than zero means that we have a bad deal going. We're losing money. We spent too much money. Format that particular cell for that rule. Bold. We'll make it red. Click, o and, and click OK. Gives you a sample. Click OK. And if this change, for example, to 80, notice we have a negative 10, and it shows up in red. As just like everything else, we can actually use autofill here to fill in these other two cells here since they have the exact same formula. Go down, click and drag, let go, and there's our formula applied to every one of these other cells in this column. Okay, So that's for it for now. If you need to go over this again, you can play this as much as you want.